Good morning everyone, Nick from Meat Smoke Fire here for one of our live cooks. Um, beautiful, beautiful day today, so that probably means the white balance on the camera is going to be in and out and in and out, but we'll see what we can do. And we're going to do three cooks as normal. And today's theme is breakfast, but not as you know it. Um, so yeah, a bit different, well, a bit, I always say a bit different, but everything's always different. So, but. Um, Oh, I've just noticed Helen has put some flowers on the table. <laughs> We're going poach today. <laughs> um, so apologies that we didn't do a cook last week. We had some um, patio lifted and I didn't want Andy to fall in the holes, but it turned out they were filled in by Saturday morning anyway. Um, but hey, it was nice to have a week off. So uh, yeah, we took a week off. So we are gonna do three cooks. They are going to be a shakshuka, so a Tunisian uh, North African uh, breakfast dish with tomatoes and eggs and all sorts um, some spices and so on quite an easy cook we're gonna do um, some Jiang Bing um, so Chinese breakfast street food um, pancakes um, and I've got to get two things out of the fridge in a bit so uh, one of them being the batter and one of them being the butter for the other thing that we're gonna make which is some cookies and this week we have Karen, True Love, Nick, True Love and the two girls over. Um, they're camping in Cambridge so we said why don't you come for um, a cream tea really. So we had scones and all sorts of biscuits and all the biscuits got hoovered. So we're going to make the biscuits because um, they were obviously popular. Right. On camera. She's hey. back. Andy in shorts and flip flops. Yeah. And I've got my flip flops on too. Uh, so obviously I have been deep fat frying this morning in my flip flops because I deep fat fried these uh, wonton wrappers and I'll go into that. We've got Helena and Mama. Of course, Mama's on the pop already. Yeah. <laughs> 11.15 and on the pop. Helena will be asked to turn your questions if she can see the screen. Uh, and I'll hand you back to Andy. That was a bit of a tour. Right, so exciting news this week. Big green egg launched their new paella pans hopefully you can see those oh um, that one's got some i've just put some a, a greasy thing in but brand new paella pans uh for the large there's a bigger one as well for the extra large and one for the mini max they're epic i've had to keep my under wraps but i've had them since march um and we've been trying and testing them and we love them so um i will be getting stock of these so if you want them talk to me uh, and they're really cheap. I think that was 23 quid. So whether I can actually post it and make it, uh, anyway, we'll work that bit out, but really good. So um, I might have got those prices wrong. I haven't looked it up, but anyway. Um, but great new paella pan. So we're gonna use one of them this morning. Um, so for our first dish, I've got two, you see, we're gonna use the Minimax one because we don't need to make loads of this. So we're just gonna make a shakshuka in here. So I'm going to add in a little bit of olive oil and we're going to pop in some onions and we're going to start frying those off. So let's get them in. I'll get a bit of pepper in there, it doesn't really matter. So this egg is at, is it, wow, bang on, 180 degrees. Uh, we've got a direct cook set up. So if I open it up, if we had a see in there, we've just got the stainless steel grid. Uh, and I'm just going to pop that in there. And those are going to start to fry, to sweat off. We'll get those going and then we're going to add some garlic to it. So we've got a whole bunch of spices to add. We can probably open these up now. It's not windy. Um, so we've got uh, some garlic, three cloves of garlic. We've got some uh, cumin, ground cumin. We have some chili powder, some smoked paprika that are going to go in there. Some salt and pepper, tomato puree, from the middle. From the middle of the tube, absolutely. Some tomatoes and some pepper. Now, if you want to add it, spice it up a notch, you can add some czar. Um, I'm not gonna bother. I like it without it. But if you were gonna go true North, uh, North American, North African, then you need to use some of that. And then you could spro sprinkle over the top at the end, some sumac, and we're gonna put some eggs in there as well. So let's let that um, start doing its thing. So I guess what we need to do is make our cookies. So Helena, could you grab the butter? And while you're there, you may as well grab the, it's in that fridge. 
batter. Perfect. So we're going to use the mixer. Helena's not too impressed with me on this one. So she has, um, we're going to make the cookies now. So while that fries, we'll make the cookies. So we've got plain flour. We'll pop that in the mixer. Um, we are going to add uh, bicarbonate of soda, baking powder and cinnamon. All go into the dry. Then we have uh, allspice, ginger and some salt. That can all go in. Now the recipe says, thank you, that can go over on that table. Thank you. Where? I wasn't going to tell him. Oh, no, I'm joking. I didn't even notice. I'm paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> so the recipe says um, to whisk all those together and then add the sugar and whisk that in and then add the butter and whisk that in and then add golden syrup and whisk that in. How does it know what order they all go in and why does it make any difference? So I haven't made this before, Helena has, but we'll go in, we'll put the golden syrup in last. But she'll hate me for doing this all in one go. Apparently it's supposed to go like breadcrumbs. That looks just like breadcrumbs to me. So we'll add in our golden syrup, which is supposed to manually do. I forgot the roll. Do I need a rolling pin? No. She'll hate this. This is really winging it. This is her recipe and I'm not following it. Oh, I'm a bit of my finger. Got the sink right here, so. Sorry, I should have got a little spatula, shouldn't I? Or a spoon. Let me just wash these. Pop that back in the mixer. Oh, press the right button, can't do with wet hands. Oh, sorry, it's me. It's got a timer function which I just turned on. Again. <laughs> right. Because it's got wet. That looks alright to me. Let's go and see what Helena says. Okay, yeah, take it over to Chief. How does that look, Chief? Flush, now you need to spring it together. Yeah, I know what to do now. <laughs> right, I've got a knife though, so I can't chop it. Yeah, you can. Now yeah, I've got a knife. I'm going to just chip it out to my board. Ooh. Bring it together. So this is for our ginger cookies, by the way. And these make, apparently, 24? You're, no, you're telling me it's 24, right? So we're not going to do 24. We can't do them all at once. Haven't no, got the space. Walnut size. Right, so I'm going to go. Oh, that one's a bit bigger than a walnut. They look like walnuts, don't they, Andy? Yeah. Yeah. See? Anyone can make this recipe, <laughs> including me. Never done it before. Get a bit more for that one. Oh, that fell off. There it is. And how many do you reckon we can get in there? 12? Uh, well, it's very good. Anyway. I'm not giving you any more instructions. Yeah, it's pointless. She's telling me she's not giving me any more instructions because I ignored the last lot. I think that's so unfair. <laughs> when you put them on the baking sheet, spread them out, they will I know. <laughs> you know. I know how cookies bake. She's telling me I've got to spread them out when I put them on the baking sheet, which I don't know where I put it, because she's brought it out. It's behind me. Yeah, but you can't spread them out. 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 Yeah, but you can't Well, that's a biggie. Don't want to fit off that. Eight. 
So we made also lemon biscuits for the true loves and uh, the girls definitely like them. Let's just put it like that. <laughs> and we sent them home with extras as well. So no, it's lovely to meet them. So yeah, if you're in, t in Cambridge, do give us a shout. We're not offering a cream tea to everybody. <laughs> that'll take forever. <laughs> right, behind me. <laughs> What's she moaning about? So Sarah, uh, yeah, who have we got on? So Sarah Clark has asked, what are your thoughts on the stainless steel fire basket? Do you have them in your ex? My thoughts on the stainless steel fire basket, uh, love them. Got them in all my eggs. Yeah, so all three. No, everyone. I've got them in the Minimaxes, I've got them in the extra large. No, I haven't got them in the extra. Yes, I have. I've got them in the extra large. How many is that? How many have you got? Because oh, someone's no. questioning your counting. That's, that's 11. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a baker's 10. <laughs> Barbecue medics all over your life. <laughs> oh, thanks, Steve. <laughs> right. So this egg, uh, 160 it's showing here, but I've got it set at 180. Um, I'm using the Egg Genius. So you'll see we've got a probe clipped on there and the fans on there and we're just going to put these straight onto the baking stone so what you should be able to see it's an indirect cook there's a uh, plate setter or convector underneath I've got a baking stone and then I've got these and these take about 10 minutes 10 to 12 minutes eight minutes apparently Siri set the timer for eight minutes right let me wash my hands okay. so who have we got on Helena go over and uh, yeah. so you can hear us Coming over, bear with. I'm just dodging the trip hazards. Uh, so we've got um, Cab Brighton, we've got Martin Foley, we've got the mine, we've got Paul from Mines of Belly, uh, we've got Malloy's Craft Butchers. Oh, morning, Malloy's. Uh, ben Hudson, Miguel, Mark from Newcastle. We've got Miguel on, have we? Yeah. Um, I will get back to you about your table, Miguel. Nick Parker. Nick Parker. I think that might be Nick Parker. Uh, it might be Nick who have who has a blaze. Uh, Mandy Bell. Yeah, look, we've got we've gone up to about twenty-four today. Cool, cool. Right, let's go and have a look at this. So welcome everyone. If there are questions, yeah, just ask. So yes, stainless steel baskets. I love them. I've got them in all my eggs. So I need to find a pair of gloves. Here we go. So just sweating down some onions looking quite good so direct cook in this mini pie air pan so you can use these direct indirect they work great um, they're just to like an enamel on them um, works really well right so to that I'm gonna add my garlic for a couple of minutes just to fry that off I might get a bit of cumin in with that now this is for two people I'm doing for we did the recipe for ours so you could cook this quite easily on your mini max which I should have done um, but if you want to do a four person one double it up simple as that um, also uh, pure coincidence or pure chance um, Big Green Egg have published their recipe for shakshuka on their website yesterday um, we planned this one a week ago promise you did ask for it didn't you everyone asked for it so uh, yeah this is our recipe um, this is a little bit more complicated, uh, but I haven't done it yet, but I'm sure it worked perfectly. Uh, yeah, question. Uh, Neil yeah. Do you find the XL fire basket loses its shape? Uh, Neil Dickinson, do you find the XL fire basket loses its shape? Mine hasn't, but the bit that goes across the middle, um, it hangs. So the XL one has got a divider so you can do half and half and it should go in two slots and at the bottom and mine doesn't anymore so I just hang it and so yeah the bottom has popped up again a little bit I guess um, but it doesn't affect it it works still works brilliantly so 
I haven't worried about it. But if you've got a problem with it, Neil, um, get hold of um, Alfresco. So info at alfrescoconcepts.co.uk uh, and they can yeah, you know, talk to them. Right, so our garlic's in there. Let's get our spices in. So as I said, cumin, teaspoon. We've got half a teaspoon of chili and a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Um, if you're gonna buy that Spanish one in the red pot, make sure you buy the sweet one, not the spicy one. Um, salt and pepper. Um, only because I've done it before, put the wrong one in and the spicy one is spicy. Really spicy. So all I want to do, I'm going to bring this out and just show you. I can put it on my surface obviously because I've got hot stuff. So just want to get it mixed in, moulded in. Give it another mm. minute. Smell that Andy? Yeah, good. Good stuff. And then to that, oh, fry off. And as Andy said, from the middle of the tube, so always grab by the middle, fry off about a tablespoon and a half of uh, tomato puree. If your tube doesn't look like that, you've done, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> this gag, I mean... It's gonna last. No, it? we've got to stop with that one. <laughs> you can't, can't bring it out every week. Right, I'm just frying off that tomato puree so you can see it's bringing, you see that Andy? You might want to dive in, it's bringing all the bits together, making a nice paste. But you're frying off those spices. These gloves work a treat. Right, um, so now, tin tomatoes. Go straight on the top, we'll mix those in. Need a bit of water in there in a bit. Otherwise this will get quite dry. You need to shut the lid as well because it's getting quite hot. We just chuck in half a tin of you go that way. Half a tin <clears> of water. Maybe not quite that much yet, it's that half a tin. Give that a mix. Now you could go indirect at this point. I'm just gonna leave it go direct and shut the lid cool it down a tiny bit because it's racing. Ooh, I've done that. So I've got about two fingers at the bottom and I had about a finger at the top for 180. I've just shut it a little bit more because now we don't need it so hot. So you could bring it down to about 140, 150 just to cook all of that through. And then we're gonna add our peppers to it. That might happen now. Careful because it is hot. So make sure you burp it. Just put the peppers over the top. So this is about half, just over half of a, a red pepper. In you go. And then we're gonna leave that to cook down. So I'm gonna shut it down a bit. Right, so cookies, how long have we had? Yeah, we'll find out, won't we? Right, let's go over here. We're gonna look at, um... you all right in the sun, mama? Yeah. Perfect. So this egg, slightly hotter than I want, just a tad. So I'm aiming for about 160, we're at 170. So um, I'm just gonna shut it down a tad. In this egg, uh, I have a cast iron plancher, uh, but you could use a cast iron, uh, big cast iron skillet. Uh, so I've got a cast iron plancher here and I just need to go in that cupboard handy because I just need to wipe it down a little bit. So I'll get a bit of paper. There we go, wipe it clean. And I preheated that to about 160. Right. So we are going to make, how are we doing for time? We're doing all right. We're going to make um, some Chinese pancakes. So I've already made this. Um, this is the um, dough we're going to use. It is a dough, batter. It's just flour and water. That's all there is. No egg, nothing like that. So it's not a Yorkshire pudding. It's got uh, 70 grams of plain flour, 40 grams of wholemeal flour, and 300 milliliters of water. Um, that's a double batch because we're going to have it for lunch. Um, so we're going to use that. I have, I'll show you over here. Sorry, Anne, made it work. We've made a chili sauce. So, ingredients I've used, um, and you can get this in most supermarkets now spicy bean paste. So it's like um, chili sauce 
There you go, that's like eight minutes. Um, you, it's like a chilli sauce mixed with soybeans. So you can get that or a, or a um, Chinese supermarket. It's like a brown, ready brown colour. Um, but it's soya beans and chilies and so on. Um, I've got some honey to sweeten it. I've got ketchup because that's always full of all of sweet. And I put in today some Korean barbecue sauce, but you could whatever you want and make a chili sauce that tastes sweet but tastes spicy. So this one, let me grab it. You're spilling your drinks, Nana. Um, so all I've done, whipped those four together and I've got a spicy red sauce. It's delicious. Mm, that's going to be good. Cool. Right, I'm going to do the cookies. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you've got the little spatula. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant that. Right. <laughs> Oh. oh man! Look at those. Morning, people. <laughs> Hi. Gate, gate crashing our live cook. We've got our neighbours <laughs> over the fence. Look, <laughs> well, one of them's our neighbour. But... <laughs> oh, so they're a little bit soft still. So I'm going to leave them another minute. They're not catching on the bottom, not far off. I'm going to give them another minute. Okay. Remind me. Yeah. Right. Let's keep over here. I'm going to grab the oil. You can go over to that one, Andy. Okay. I'm being videoed. Being videoed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is her terrible. The neighbours are videoing me over the fence. That's really weird. <laughs> oh, no. No pressure. Oh, this is, this is very weird. Very weird. Yeah. Um, right. So, as I was saying, so we've got a chilli sauce. Um, we've got some spring onions that I've just chopped up. We've got some um, black sesame seeds. You'll have seen me use these before. And then what I've done this morning is deep fried some wonton wrappers. So they go crispy. So you can pick these up at any Asian supermarket and I've just put them in the deep fryer. I did them on the egg, of course. In your flip flops. In my flip flops, because I'm not allowed to deep fry on the egg. Um, especially in my flip flops because that's dangerous. So, we get the cookies off and then we'll do these. Okay. So I just slide them off. Huh? Yep, right. So we'll lift that up. They are oh, looking. Man. What we look, they're still soft, but they are, we don't want them to go hard. So I'm going to say they will, they will harden up. As, ooh, as we Easy, cook them. don't lose any. Haven't lost them, look at that. Precious cargo. So we'll put them there. Let's have a look at those, Andy. We'll have one of those at the end. Little ginger biscuits. Nice. Right. They look lush. Smell amazing. So this, I need my eggs. Get those. Get a bit prepped. I don't sit that other clothes back in the tent. Yeah, it's alright. Right, this is going to be messy. So, you know, Stand which is. Bed. Yeah, the blaze is great for that. We can uh, uh, just wipe it clean. So, a little bit of towel. Someone's asked her, or Paul, my poor belly asked, how hardy are they um, in terms of how, how do they scratch easily? Uh, the, the blaze, I haven't scratched them yet. Um, and I put surfaces on them. So, you know, I take the stuff straight out, put it on while it's hot. They're solid, um, but they are, a, it is a glass. They are going to scratch. Just one of those things, isn't it? So, let's just put a little bit of oil on there. I'm gonna wipe it around a bit. Just to, so you must season your, your plate. And now we have one of these. Really expensive from Amazon. Two sets, six ninety nine. Gone all out for you guys. Um, <laughs> this is a crepe spreader, and this is only the second time I've done this. So, <clears throat> might. So we're going to go on with our batter. 
Then we're going to get our crepe spreader. You don't put any weight on it, you just spread it out. Look at that. That is cool. A thin crepe. We're going to let it cook for a second. Meanwhile, we're going to get an egg. Um, Helen is going to take me, tell me to break it into a cup. Yeah. Because I haven't got one. Do you want one? No. I'll just go normal. I'm going to find my coke. Lost it. Over there. Right. These don't take long. Can you see now, it's already starting to lift at the edges. Yep. So now it goes on an egg. And then we're gonna break it with our little spreader. Spread it around. Trying to get a bit of egg over all of the pancake. And now we're going to shut that for a minute. So I will grab my coat now. Okay. So any questions, Helen? No. <laughs> oh. Just saying. Fair enough. Uh, <clears> so <throat> Karen did make it to the Gorgs. So they've saw... got pork oh, chops and chorizo later. Oh, nice. I saw they were having Gogs burgers last night for their dinner on the campsite. So I hope they were Gogs award-winning burgers, the bone marrow ones. Um, by the way, this little thing here is so you flip it with this. But... Big one for me. Um, so we, all we're doing now is just waiting for that just to set the egg a little bit. And then we'll go to the next bit. Mm. Right, it's warm today. Mm -hmm. Love it. So keep the lid shut a little bit. I'm gonna open my vents because I keep letting the heat out. It's coming back, so. What I wanna do is make sure this is spread. Oh, that's nearly set, that is. Look at that. Right. I'm not sure they can see too well. No. Can Quite you? tricky. I'll yeah. put, look. Good big head shadow. How's that? Does mm, that work? I'm still not convinced. Oh, well. So I do apologise. It's yeah, we need, to... we need the pergola. So now we're just going to take this, flip it over. Obviously don't mess up the corners like that. Get it nice and flat. And this is where all the other bits come in. So while that cooks on one side, Get in there with your spicy sauce. Can they see this, Andy? You've got to be able to see yeah. it. Yeah. Right, get in there with some spicy sauce on it. We're going in with some spring onions. You can hear it cooking beautifully. We're going to do some sesame. Even I can't see those in the sunshine. I'm going to close it for a minute. Just let the egg cook underneath. We want the spring onions to start cooking. We want the sesame to, to get in there. And then we're going to go in with some of our wontons. So we've got these lovely crispy wonton wrappers. So wonton wrappers, basically a pastry, really thin pastry. And we've just crisped them up by frying, deep frying them. That looks good. Look at that. That looks lush. Ooh. Mm -mm. Right, so I'll do a couple of these so you can see. Now we can just get these, we can break them up and put them on. So I'm putting them on half. Helen has eaten the other half. Get a little spatula thing, flip them over. Like that. Now what I like to do, paint it again. A bit more chilli sauce. Should probably bring this a little bit closer, shouldn't I? Now, ideally, you want to be able to pick it up and hold it, but I'm not into that. I'm gonna just grab this, grab my plate. Pop it on the plate. Shut that, I'm gonna make you another one so you can see it, see it again. Put some so someone's asked what, spring onions over what's the top. The chili sauce? Can you... So the chili sauce, let me just cut this so you can see what it looks like. And then we'll feed it to Helena and Mama and just see if uh, they like it. So there you go. Let's turn these round so you can see it. I have no idea if they can see or not because that's what I'm looking at. A black yeah, screen. Yeah, we can see it. Yay. We can see it. It's a bit sunny. So there you go, Mama. You got it, or Helena? You've got to bite it and find out. Let's make another one. Right. So again, take your clean that off. Got oil on here already.
one ladle of dough, get our dough spreader. Good. You could do this with normal crepes, so the, the, the little uh, plancher works perfectly. Let that set a little bit, get another egg. Mm. That nice. Mm. <laughs> now, if you wanted to put pulled pork into it, you could, or ham, or cheese, maybe. I don't know. Anything. I guess you could make it nice spicy for kids. Yeah. Oh yeah. You could tone this down and just make it a tomato sauce. Take the chili out of it that altogether. Is, quite zingy, that one. is that zingy? I know. <laughs> I made that one. <laughs> so go on with our egg again. Zing zing zing. Too zingy, Mama. Zingy enough. Zingy enough, okay. Oh, oh Andy's gonna have a go. Stay with scent. The camera goes all over it's because Andy's eating. Yeah, all right. Mm. I like it spicy. I didn't think it was spicy enough the other day. <laughs> Too spicy? No? Oh, Too? that's lush. Yeah. What about the crunch inside? Nice. Mm. Cool. Good texture. Good texture. Right. Uh, that we need to go back to in yep. a second. Let's just make one more of these. Oh, that's lush. You might notice, Andy, I've made loads for lunch. Yeah, wicked. Can have this for lunch. Right, give this a minute. Let's go and have a look at that while okay. it cooks. Because we need to put eggs in this now. So, open it up, bubbling away nicely. Oop, lost a bit over the side. So this is just a spicy tomato sauce. A little bit thin. I should have put so much water in, but. Oh, that's good. I'm going to get two eggs. Okay, stay put. In fact, I'll flip this, Andy, to come over and we'll do this. Okay. Go back. All right. Flip it over. in there with a bit of our chilli sauce, put less on this one if it's too spicy for you guys. Some spring onions. You see it all puffing up where it's got the egg underneath. Some of that. So simple, but so delicious. Yeah, really right, tasty. Right, two minutes, we've got to be back. Okay. Two eggs. Right. So on this, um, it's a bit runny, but we'll go for it. Uh, you normally make a little well, and then drop your egg into it. Don't need to make a well. There you go. So you can see that's going in, and now we're gonna shut the lid and leave that for about five or six minutes till it cooks. Okay. Back here. Puffed up beautifully. So we'll get some more of this on the side, a bit of crispiness. Yep. That's really cool. Flip it over, oops. Not very good at the flipping over bit. Squatch it down, tiny bit of chilli sauce. A bit more spring onion. Grab another plate. Get that shut. Get another knife and fork and we'll cut that one up. So, any questions people? What do people think of this? They like the look of that? I'll tell you, it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. I'm going to have some. Everyone else has had some. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Right, while that's cooking, let's get a cookie over. I'll bring them over, Andrew. Mm-hmm. I'm to put them oh, on, the on the table, yeah. So, shall I take a little one? 
nicely golden bottom nice and gooey mm. yeah you're going to share the love thank you there's some more there good cookies oh yeah epic <laughs> can we cook the rest yeah we will cook the rest mm. right oh my days so oh, lovely. Oh. what do we want to cook next week this again. This again? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> do we like the street food idea? I do. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah. So I wonder what we could do street food for next week, maybe. Okay, let's see what um, suggestions we get. Or see what people say. I love that. These are, you've got to try them. They're so easy, so nice. You can make your own chilli sauce or you just use a barbecue sauce or oh, you were going to recap hoisin you can use. Recap on your chilli sauce, what you put in it. Yeah, so my chilli sauce was a Korean barbecue sauce. That is quite spicy. That's where most of the heat came from. Um, don't tell mum of the sell by date on it. Um, <laughs> 2013. 2012. Yeah, well. Close. No, it's not. It's 2017. <laughs> <laughs> uh, spicy bean sauce. So you can get that from most supermarkets now. Soya bean sauce. You could Anything soya bean um, from the supermarket you can get. I got that from a Chinese supermarket. I sweetened it with honey and I added tomato and a bit of lot of sugar I guess with ketchup so simple but make your own up if you've got a barbecue sauce that you like go for that if you've got hoisin sauce that will work any of those try it right so someone suggested bao buns bao buns yeah I, to cheat and buy them. I can cheat and buy them um, we, I've never tried making them, but I do know that the Chinese supermarket has got bao buns in the freezer section because I saw them yesterday or the okay. day before. Singapore noodles. I really should give them a go because we, I don't know if you saw last night, we had some beautiful fish from a brand new fish restaurant, fish shop uh, in Cambridge called Finboys. And uh, it's one of the guys from our village um, runs it, or is one of the owners of it, I think. Um, so we had some beautiful mackerel. Um, but his other business is selling, a street, he's got a street food van and they specialise in bao buns. So um, if I need a recipe, I'll talk to Jay because, uh, yeah, he, he, is, uh, he is the bao bun expert in Cambridge. So, yeah. Go on, Helena, anything? Singapore noodles. Singapore noodles. Oh, that's a good one. Who yeah. suggested kedgeree the other week? Kedgeree we had, on the, so we could do that. Apart from Karen won't like that one because she doesn't like fish. <laughs> She's going to have a look how our eggs yeah. are getting on. Right. Oh, they're still, can you see they're still a bit wobbly in the middle? I don't know if you get that. Mm, so yep. we need that another that three or four be. minutes. But what we don't want to do is overcook them so that the eggs are set. Set. Mm. The yolks are set. So it's probably a minute or two not far off and then I'm just gonna put some coriander over the top of them so a little sprinkle of coriander and they'll be delicious right I'm going back to eat some more of that okay um, or should I make another one dosa. no wait Someone needs to have dosa. dosa okay what's yeah. dosa um I've got to look that up Indian. yeah Indian but I've had God, I had them while I cycled around I just can't think what they are for a minute so dosa Right, that's street food. Dose of this and the dose of that. <laughs> um, yeah. oh, I haven't got anything in there. And we yeah. have promised that we will do a kids cook. Oh, a kids cook. Yeah, somebody, I can't remember who it was, reminded me we said we'd do a kids cook. So what could we do for kids cook? Other than the cookies we've already done. They were easy. Oh, they are lush. Yeah. They are super. Right, let's get our eggs out and then okay. we're nearly done. Oh, yeah. Now beauty of this is if I take it out it'll still continue cooking so what I'm going to do sprinkle over a little bit of coriander over the top could use parsley gloves on leave that up How's that look, Andy? Can you that see that? That looks amazing. Yeah. Eggs have still got a wobble. I'm going to put them down because we're going to eat those in a minute. But a little bit of crusty bread, those would be stunning. It's difficult for us to see what you're seeing. No, it is okay. 
Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Cool. Right, so this week's cooks were Shakshuka. The recipe is already online and published. Yes. Jiang Bing, the recipe is already online and published. Yes. Cookies, Helena's cookies, recipe isn't online and isn't published yet, yeah. but she is working, is it? Uh, just needs photos. Just needs photos. Yay. She's, she's written it up. So we're nearly there this week. So let's go back. Um, paella pans from Big Green Egg, they are great. Love them, been using them for a couple of months. Really like them. Um, I will get them in stock. Um, so I'll be able to post them out. Um, if you want to order them through me, anything over 70 quid is free shipping. Uh, so that isn't gonna, one of these isn't, um, that's when it's from Big Green Egg Direct. So hence I'll get them in and I can sort something out for you. So we will have those. In terms of um, stock, Big Green Egg, large Big Green Egg, there are only integrated nests left. Um, that's all you can buy it in now. There's no tables, no, uh, modular nests, no, nothing else, just the integrated nest or a blaze, of course. You can have a lovely blaze unit. Um, uh, but there will be new tables coming back into stock July, August time, so it's a bit of a wait. Uh, covers I, are still not showing um, what date they are, so hopefully the weather will stay like this and you won't need a cover. I don't use covers, um, but otherwise, everything else. Uh, should start coming back in uh, a bit later in the year with Big Green Egg. It's a bit of a wait, unfortunately. Uh, in terms of Let's Q, uh, I will place another order this week. So there is one extra large on the site at the moment. Uh, otherwise, all the other sizes are in stock. Uh, not sure when the Tandor rings are coming in. I need to talk to Peter and find out if we're able to air mail them in, air freight them in. Um, but otherwise, I think that's about it, stock-wise. Um, yeah, try our cooks, let us know how you get on, tag us, um, follow us on YouTube if you can, that'd be wonderful, subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, and we will do another cook for you next week. So I hope you've enjoyed this, if there's something you particularly want to see uh, on the live cook page there is a link, just type in what you'd like to see us cook, and we might do it, we might not, but at least you've put your suggestion in. Um, yeah, and then go out, enjoy the weather, get cooking. All right, guys, thank you for watching this week. That's pretty much 45 minutes, so not bad. All right, cheers. Bye.